these are eight reasons why your skincare products are not working hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're seeing my face for the first time hi my name is jessica and you're welcome to my channel so guys thank you so much for those who have subscribed to my channel so far i love you all please if you have not subscribed to my channel and you've been watching my videos what are you waiting for please subscribe to my channel and support my ministry let's move this ministry to the permanent site moving on let's dive right into the video as the first reason why your skincare products are not working anymore can be due to the accumulation of dead skin cells yes due to the accumulation of dead skin cells so the skin as we know it is the largest organ in the body here and the skin cells renews itself like every 28 days or thereabouts and when this happens it leaves behind a layer of dead skin cells i know that over time the skin naturally sheds these dead skin cells but then it does it slowly and as a result of that there is like an accumulation of dead skin cells so these dead skin cells create a barrier on your skin so when you apply your skincare product they don't even apply well you get like your skin cannot absorb it properly so what you do here is to exfoliate this is where exfoliation comes in you have to make sure you are exfoliating as often as you can i personally recommend three times a week it works for me that is what i do make sure you're exfoliating your face make sure you're exfoliating your body your knuckles your hands your legs general body exfoliation helps so just make sure you're exfoliating in order to get rid of that dead skin cells and i promise you you'll notice a great difference your skincare product will start applying smoothly so the second reason why your skincare products are not working anymore can also be as a result of improper cleansing now what do i mean when i say improper cleansing i'm not just referring to like cleansing of the face i'm talking about the whole body now and yeah cleansers that are used on the face are also important i'm not putting that one aside but what i'm saying is do you take your bath regularly before you apply skincare product do you cleanse your body properly do you wash properly how do you take your bath how do you take a shower what kind of um tool do you use when taking your bath what's the kind of soap you use is your soap cleansing your body enough so all these are questions that you need to ask yourself um i would recommend using a bath sponge i don't know people that use just soap to have their bath i don't know how that works for them but yeah in this part of the world where i live i grew up being introduced to a bath sponge like i grew up using a bath sponge so make sure you're cleansing your body properly make sure you're using the correct soap make sure you're taking your bath as often as you can yes don't have like build up and build up and build up of dirt and then you just shabbily take your bath and apply skincare products and expect it to work it's basically like painting a house that have like dirty paint on it like crusty looking paint and then you're just painting that house without scraping off that old paint first you and i know that it won't look as smooth as the one that has been scraped off anyway i don't know you get what i'm trying to say yes so yeah make sure you're cleansing properly and yeah you'll notice a difference so now the third reason why your skincare products are not working can also be due to improper use of said products now what do i mean probably you are not using it correctly sorry i said improper i meant incorrect use of your said skincare product yes so some products can recommend you to use them at night some can recommend you to use them during the day some goes both ways all i'm saying is you need to make sure you're reading instructions do you just buy cleansers or buy body lotion or buy facial lotions like facial creams or whatever and you just go in and start using them without reading read everything if it comes with a pamphlet read it if it comes with ingredients at the back read it if it comes with instructions read it read everything just to be sure when you're supposed to use this product for some products that states that you should use them in the night if you go ahead and use them in the daytime that's a problem because probably it causes like sensitivity to the sun and then when you use them you get adverse effects you might even like get darker instead of like lightening your skin or brightening your skin or whatever the aim for that particular product was so make sure you're reading instructions properly and apart from reading instructions just make sure you're following them know what you're doing if it's one that requires you to wear sunscreen wear sunscreen some even requires you not to enter the sun 
all i'm saying is i don't want to ramble too much but all i'm saying is make sure you're reading instructions properly before diving into whatever you're doing also you can go ahead on the internet research reviews of that same product that you're about to use people that have used it before what did they what do they recommend what worked for them when was the best time they used it plus some product requires you to even use it like in dry weather and not in like sorry in warm weather in cold weather and not in like hot weather so if you go and use that kind of product like when it's very hot it might not work well for your skin right so just make sure you are reading instruction so the next reason why your skincare products might have stopped working can be as a result of the fact that your skin has actually reached its optimal level and by optimal level i mean your skin has reached the best possible point it can attain like your skin has reached its most favorable level its best level basically i don't know if that makes sense but yes like some people complain oh my skin is immune to this this doesn't work on my skin this doesn't do that is because at that point in time that product can no longer do anything further for your skin for example probably you were using vitamin c serum right and if you had dark spots it has like lighting those dark spots over time your skin complexion is now even but then you want it to be two shades brighter or three shades brighter <laughs> sis dude it won't work why because that vitamin c serum has already worked for lightening your dark spot or brightening your dark spot it has done what it's supposed to do it has done what it is able to do so it cannot work further and at this point i think you have like three options the first option is to switch products which i don't know i wouldn't necessarily recommend the second option is to stop using the product for some time allow your skin recover allow your skin breathe and then you can go back to using it the third option is to lower your expectations which is what i actually suggest like actually if you've been using this product and it has worked for you over time but then you notice probably it stopped working lower your expectation just love your skin the way it is especially if you don't have like a dark spot anymore but if what you wanted was three shades lighter and you're not getting that learn to love your complexion love your skin love it the way it is okay so lower your expectation so guys moving on the fifth reason why your skincare products are no longer working can also be as a result of the constituent of that said product being degraded or deteriorated what do i mean by this basically the ingredients in that product are degraded some active ingredients that are found in our products have limited shelf life and over time they get degraded and they lose their potency take for example vitamin c serum now vitamin c serum is stored in an amber brown bottle because when vitamin c serum comes comes in contact with light or air it gets oxidized and which makes it lose its potency so this is why it's stored in such bottles even most serum if you notice they are stored in an amber brown bottle because if you allow it gets exposed to air they get oxidized and then they lose their potency another reason might be the expiry date so you have to make sure you're also ch you're always checking the expiration date of products you buy how you store them also play a factor in them getting degraded so check expiration date how you store them if it requires you to store them in cool environment make sure you're storing them in cool places if they require you to store them at room temperature store them at room temperature don't go and put them in the fridge so just make sure you're reading how to store read the recommended how to store read the expiration date and if your skincare products have expired or you notice they've already gotten degraded i don't see any reason why you should still keep them you should trash them immediately because you can't put such thing on your skin it's very risky the sixth reason why your skincare product might not be working anymore for you is as a result of contamination now this is not to bash anybody but personally i've seen a lot of videos here on youtube where people are applying like serums on their face and they're allowing the dropper you know that dropper in our serum you're allowing the dropper and you as you're dropping is touching your skin that's very wrong especially when you have like active acne because that is essentially transferring bacteria microorganisms from your face back into that same product so which leads to contamination 
so it doesn't make sense so just make sure you are applying your product carefully another mistake i see people making is during exfoliating probably exfoliating your body and you're using like an exfoliating cup i see people taking from inside exfoliating their body while they are in the shower you see the whole water and everything is getting back in there what i recommend is have like a separate bowl like a bath bowl that you use scoop out some of your exfoliants and keep in that bowl that is what you should use take from there take the quantity that you know you can finish for your body but don't scoop directly out of the bowl and into and on your body or you do understand what i'm saying just to recap what i'm trying to say is when your skincare products are not properly handled they lead to contamination also contamination can come from the shelf life as i mentioned earlier maybe that product has expired so the chemicals that they put that is supposed to like prevent the growth of microorganisms like bacteria fungi you name them the, the the chemical that they put has already expired so it's no longer potent enough to prevent that growth so you notice that okay um your skincare product is contaminated please trash it don't attempt to even use it at all don't attempt to salvage it don't use expired products on your skin always check for expiry date don't use expired product like personally i will even say if like if, if if the expiration date is november 20th from november 1st don't use it shy depends on what it is but if you know you can please don't use it just straight away the seventh reason i have for you guys why your skincare products are no longer working can be as a result of changes to your skin your skin has changed practically so if you're using a particular product two years ago and you're still using it now and you think it's still going to keep working no sis most times it wouldn't work anymore and it's normal that's because your skin has changed and this can be due to several factors ranging from hormonal changes to maybe menopause maybe you've hit menopause you're no longer a teenager you've passed um, your puberty stage different reason hormonal changes menopause puberty different reasons so it's okay and what i would advise is the older you get please limit harmful chemicals that you put on your skin limit harmful chemicals what did i say limit harmful chemicals that you put on your skin basically what i'm saying is make sure you're using good skincare products plus this is a take home what what worked for you five years ago might not work for you now so you have to keep changing skincare product as the years goes by keep researching what works for you you might even catch an allergy along the line i've seen it happen several times to people i know so just make sure you're doing your research you're visiting your dermatologist or your doctor or whatever medical personnel that you want to visit to recommend good products for you always do the te the patch test what i mean by patch test is putting like a little bit of product on a particular section of your skin before applying it to the rest of your body in case of allergy allergy reaction in case of allergic reaction make sure you're doing patch tests especially on new products make sure you're doing patch tests how it works is to put a little bit on a section of your body before applying it to the rest of your body so you put a little bit and i think you wait for 24 hours yeah i think you wait for basically one day and if there's no reaction that means you're good to go so guys the eighth and final reason i have for you guys of why your skincare products are no longer working can be due to the change in your environment so changing your environment can be changing the weather changing the season basically changing the environment yes as the weather changes you need to be picking out suitable skincare products for each weather plus you don't want to be using a very light moisturizer during winter because if you live in nigeria you know how hamatan can be very very drying especially in the north it can be really really drying so that is when you need all the hydrating moisturizers you can lay your hands on because that's when they work best for you you need to keep your skin hydrated so you don't want to be using such heavy moisturizers during summer time when you probably sweat yes so you need to opt for light moisturizers during summer time plus what i will also recommend is to always drink water like keep yourself hydrated people drink water because this would help when it comes to this change in environment this would help this would not make your skin overcome overcompensate by producing too much sebum too much oils so just make sure in everything you're doing you're creating a balance as everything said in this video it's a take home 
practice them do them don't just jump into conclusion and say oh this lotion is not working for me plus bear in mind that most lotions actually take time before you start seeing results calm down patience is key in this skincare journey also another thing i would say is have a routine have a regimen make sure you're creating a balance so guys we've come to the end of this video i hope this video was helpful in one way or the other please subscribe to the channel please subscribe leave a comment down below if you're confused on anything i talked about or if you also have suggestions to me just leave a comment down below if you have a question for me also and i promise i'm going to reply every single one of them so thank you guys so much for watching bye and i'll see you in my next